Welcome back. The time has come to press play on Dark Side of the Moon or the Allman Brothers or any other dated weed reference that you can think of, because frankly, we've been getting a ton of questions like this one. Linda wrote, I hear hemp can be beneficial when dealing with COVID. Please verify. Linda, no problem. And you know what? Even though this is a serious story, it feels like a pretty solid candidate for Vice News. Okay, here's the headline at KGW.com. OSU study suggests hemp compounds could help block coronavirus. That's right. This is real hemp. This stuff. Okay, let's walk through this. Basically, according to OSU's press release, and I'm going to make this as layman friendly as possible. Scientists, quote, found that a pair of cannabinoid acids, science jargon describing substances found in hemp, bind to the, I'm going to say like, spiky COVID protein thing, blocking a critical step in the process the virus uses to infect people. In other words, researchers found hemp acids, those acids in the hemp, bond to that spiky COVID protein thing, making it so big and bulky and weak, it can't infect you. Now, we've had some fun, but let's reiterate. We're talking about hemp, not necessarily marijuana. They come from the same species, but hemp has minimal THC. It's very common in all kinds of products like oils and extracts and body lotions, all that good stuff. Still, when I sat down with one of the key researchers behind this study, our team decided that I should get this question out of the way. A lot of people are going to look at this headline and go, Okay, I guess <laughs> what what am I supposed to take away from that? For people who are home, uh, sitting at home, and they're wondering, is consuming cannabis in very common forms, including smoking it, um, give me these benefits? What's the answer? Well, definitely, the benefit for preventing viral infection of cells must come from cannabinoid acids, which are heat sensitive and must not be smoked. Professor, before I ask you a follow-up question, you know that you just bummed out a lot of stoners, right? Well, that's not my job. It's not his job. Copy that, Professor. It is indeed not. You're right. But that response on Twitter did lead to follow-ups like this one. Steve tweeted, edibles it is. Steve, we admire your tenacity. Nice. But the professor did elaborate that the hemp needs to be like pretty pure. He kind of talked about dietary supplements, most likely in a pill form. So that in mind, this was our follow up question. I just want to be clear. Are you giving people any kind of advice as to what to take right now or to to go out and get some of these dietary supplements? Well, I think the outcome of any good research is that it asks new questions. And one of these questions is, what dosages do we need to help maintain health in terms of using hemp extracts with antiviral capability? Uh, we definitely need more research on this topic to be certain. What I would say for the folks who are already using uh, and safely using con extracts of hemp in the forms of dietary supplements, stick to the recommended dosages on the labels of their products and if they've had success using them before for whatever reason they currently take them. I think they might be experiencing an added benefit uh, with a little bit less risk of getting infected with the SARS virus. There you go. Might be having an added benefit right now, but it's too soon to say. The professor did add that OSU's next step is human trials, seeing how well continued hemp consumption prevents COVID. He believes the team could have a clear answer later this year. We will absolutely keep you posted.